Welcome back to channel everyone. Today I'm gonna be out here harvesting my muscadines. Uh, been putting this off for a couple weeks now. They're starting to go bad. Uh, I really should have picked these heavily uh, about 10 days ago. And I have been picking them uh, every day, just a little bit eating them as I go and uh, getting a few away. But the major harvest uh, I haven't made yet. I'm gonna do that today. Uh, they should have really been picked 10 days ago because now that the uh, the bees are getting to them, the bees are really doing some damage to them, as well as we got a uh, tropical system coming in tomorrow. It's already starting to come in now. The clouds are coming in from the coast. It's getting a bit windy. A lot of rain this weekend. So I'm expecting a lot of these uh, muscadines to fall off, to drop. So I want to come out here and get them while they're still good. Uh, first, I'm going to pick a little bucket today. The first bucket's going to be of these uh, purple ones. They're either Isons or Black Beauties. I think they're Isons. I think those are Black Beauties and I think those are whatever Pams. Uh, these are a little bit smaller than the Pams. Uh, the Pams taste real good uh, all the time. These taste real good when they're really, really ripe. So let's go ahead and pick some of them. I'm gonna put them in here. There's a lot of them gone bad, like I said. And there's bees, there's wasps, there's honeybees, there's yellow jackets out here. Let's go ahead and pick some. I'm gonna have to be careful. Last year I came through here and picked them all and there wasn't no bees on them. But this year I'm gonna have a little bit of problem with bees. So there's a bundle there. There's some bad ones on there. I'll just pick those off, let them fall. Ladybug on there. So there's a little bit of bundle there. Yeah, they're, they're really ripe. They're really ripe. They're good, though. All right, let's go down here and get some down here. Sorry for the camera, Ash. I got to do it all by myself today. Those all look good. That bundle there. A little bit smaller. He's a little bit smaller than the rest of them. All right, let's sniff of these here. Let's go over to the Pams. I'm show you the Pams. These on the post here. This is where you're in a treat for. I'm gonna show you these Pams. They're outstanding muscadines. This one here is really, really loaded with them. Uh, this is one of the vines I come out here and I eat on every day. But it's starting to go bad. You can smell it. It's like wine out here. Let's go in here and pick a few of these. Now we've already picked probably 30 of these size already, but I didn't make a video of it. So I need to come out here and do that. A lot of these are getting bad already. So I just come in here and pick the ones. But that one's just gotten right, look how right that is, that's soft.
Look how big that pan right there is. These are delicious. I'll go to the last one more bind over here, I'll show you it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how we grew these muscadines, uh, go to my playlist, muscadine playlist, and you'll see the whole story of us planting these and taking care of them. They planted it in 2020. And uh last year they did pretty decently. This year they did outstanding. I just wish I'd have picked them out here a little bit earlier. But with time and everything, whatever going on, I didn't have a chance to do a big harvest. So we're doing that today. And the way I'm cutting these off of here, there's a couple of ways to pick muscadines. And I will show y'all guys that in a different video, probably next Wednesday or so. I'm gonna make another video, whatever's left out here, and show you how to pick them and why I pick them the way I do. That's a nice bundle there, nice bundle. It don't take long to fill those little buckets up at all. See, some of these, this one here is not ripe, but they'll, they'll ripen up in the house. It's like tomatoes, they'll ripen up. It's good to have some that's not that ripe. That way they'll last a bit longer. Good. But look at that. Now we probably, we had, I know there's hundreds and hundreds of gallons we had out here this year. A lot had done fell, look here on the ground. Uh, despite the no rain, even though we got drip irrigation here, they do need natural rain as well. But uh, without drip irrigation, they would not have made it at all. But the heat this year was intense. Uh, it was so hot this year that it really uh wasn't good on the muscadine grapes this year but it did pretty good i mean it's more than i can eat and i gave away a lot so uh appreciate you guys watching hopefully next year they'll keep doing better and better um so that's it that's the muscadine uh harvest two pails for today i just want to make sure i get the video out there show you guys it's worth doing if you're interested in doing muscadines, start thinking about it right now. That way you can get them in the ground in the spring. Uh, that about wraps it up. I'm going to put these in the house. i got to go get my kid from school. And uh, just got them bush hauling, cutting a little bit of grass. I'm trying to get a lot of things done this morning because of the the rain that's coming in. Uh, it's been a dry summer, as y'all know. So we're hoping to get some, some water to green up the pastures before fall. Fill up the ponds a little bit. Uh, just green things up some because it's been a very 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 dry summer so thanks for watching see y'all next time